It may seem a world away from the stresses and strains of the daily commute, but the ripple effect of the ongoing rail crisis is now being felt as far as Lake Windermere. Anybody else for Kendall and Oxford Elves? Yeah. As of today, as part of its emergency timetable, Northern Rail has cancelled all trains running into the Lake District between Oxenholme and Windermere for at least two weeks, forcing passengers to use replacement bus services. So you've got Ambleside up at the north. Mm -hmm. With the early summer season in full swing, one local business owner told me it couldn't have come at a worse time for one of the UK's top tourist areas. It's a challenging environment at the moment. We're doing everything we possibly can within our own businesses, but controlling the public transport links to and from the Lake District, that's out with our control, and we need the people responsible for it to recognise the problem and do something about it as quickly as possible. Over at Manchester Piccadilly, rush hour passengers were still facing delays and cancellations on northern services, arriving for work late, stressed and angry. I'm an annual season ticket holder um, and you just think, what, what am I paying my money for? Yeah, it's just a mess, like no one really knows what's going on, trains are always getting cancelled, delayed. The train was cancelled half past seven, the eight o'clock was late, it was cancelled on Friday as well. It's just ongoing, it's a nightmare. Greater Manchester's equally irate mayor has demanded a reduction in fares and substantial compensation for season ticket holders. Northern can't be allowed to inflict their miserable substandard services on us any, any longer. They've turned people's lives upside down in the last uh, few weeks. People late for work on warnings, people having to get taxis, missing family engagements, childcare, but also that they're damaging the Northern economy. Beleaguered Northern has apologised again and says a compensation scheme will be put in place. The first two weeks of the new timetable have been uh, not good enough for um, people that are using our services and we've apologised and I apologise again for that. Um, we know that we've inconvenienced a large number of people um, but changing the timetable in the railway system is actually quite a complicated process um, and therefore we've acted very quickly to, after two weeks to put in place this interim timetable. As another evening rush hour begins, commuters across the country, as well as their MPs, are now awaiting a speedy response from the Transport Secretary. Catherine Jacob, 5 News.